Hi, I'm Lillian. And I'm Felipe. We are the postmodern family. We are Americans living in the UK, living a traditional life. We are reacting to a Tracy Ullman video that we cannot seem to find on YouTube. This is the second video that I've seen of Tracy Ullman's ever. And then after that, I started to look her up on YouTube and I just loved all of her impressions of uh, Theresa May and Angela, Angela Merkel and um, Camilla, who else? She does a ton of- Jeremy oh, Corbyn. Jeremy Corbyn, really hilarious. Um, but I thought that this one was really interesting, so we decided to make a react to video of it. A Tracy Ullman skit titled, You Woke. Okay, everyone, welcome. This support group is for people who are so woke that they are finding it impossible to have any fun at all. We have no, like somebody new else. with us this week, so it, would you it. like to introduce yourself? Uh, hi, I'm Oscar. Uh, I think like a lot of you guys, for me, it started with the little things. Signing an online petition, going to a march. Well, I mean, before I knew it, I was writing to the Guardian about LGBT representation in the Harry Potter books. Which is shocking, by the way. <laughs> right? LGBT already blocked. Don't worry, Oscar. You've come to the right place. All of the young people in this room are ruining their lives by being overly virtual. <laughs> no, it's actually a microaggression to say young people because right. it carries some conscious bias towards the elderly. Actually, what you're so doing is denying right. agency to the elderly, which is arguably much worse. This, this is what I'm talking about. You see, it's a slippery slope. One minute you're carrying a reusable water bottle, fine, and the next minute you're arguing that water is racist. Oh my god, is water racist? No, no, <laughs> that's just an example. Right, how did you guys get on with the homework that I set you? Guys isn't an especially inclusive term. Not now, <laughs> Not now, Jamie. Do you Jamie. Know having to watch that old people sitcom? It's called Friends, Lily, oh, and you were supposed to watch <laughs> it and enjoy it. Well, I try, but I find it deeply problematic. Why? Well, there's the homophobia, the transphobia, the fatism, the slut shaming. Could Chandler be any more annoying? You can't go through your twenties worrying about every aspect of everything. You have to pick your battles. And just remember that it doesn't really matter because by the time you hit your thirties, most of you are going to be massively right wing anyway. <laughs> have any of you started to think that maybe poor people don't deserve benefits? N no. Well, watch out for that one because that's how it starts. <laughs> Look, I understand this has all been a bit much for some of you, so let's take five and have a hobnob. I find the word hobnob very phallocentric. <laughs> phallocentric. <laughs> phallocentric. Wow. Um, that's Tracy Breaks the News, Tracy Ullman on the BBC right there, BBC. Mm. And so I was really surprised that the BBC put this video out, I've got to mm. say, because I thought, man, people are going way too far in the whole virtue signaling virtue signaling social justice yeah. including environmentalism all of that is like just so important to especially young people now mm. that they can't even have fun they can't even laugh at a joke you know yeah uh, but aren't the brits known for loving friends yeah i've met many people at work that know more about friends than i do so do you think people who are younger than us maybe feel awkward when they watch Friends because I remember when 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 we when Friends was out like mm. all of these issues in mm. in the social atmosphere it, it wasn't a big deal a big deal and mm. so it was kind of, it was funny Monica being really really fat like that was funny <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving not for me Remember that one um, where Joey did a model ad? You want to go get a drink or something? Yeah. If you... uh, oh, what's wrong? I just remembered I have to do something. Oh, what? Um, uh, leave. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's, it's offensive, right? Yeah. Not yeah. funny anymore. Yeah. Which is kind of sad. When the millennials were, were children, mm -hmm. parents are thought to have treated them with kid kitty gloves, right? Yeah. So made sure that every circumstance they were in, they weren't 
put off mm -hmm. or offended mm -hmm. or hurt, mm -hmm. right? So then, isn't social justice then just the adult manifestation of that circumstance? Uh, probably, yeah. It's basically, yes. as an adult now, I want my childhood circumstances to carry on. Mm -hmm. I don't want to ever be offended, mm -hmm. ever be hurt by the mm -hmm. words that you say, mm -hmm. um, be, um, I guess, assaulted by microaggressions. Mm -hmm. Which I think are just aggressions that are internal, right? Is that what they're saying? That aren't being voiced. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Microaggressions. I don't know. But, I mean, in both of our families, when we were kids, if you got fat, you were told you were getting fat to your yeah. face in the yeah. public. Like, if I hadn't seen my grandma in four years, let's say, since I was 13 and I saw her when I was 17, and, and if I had gained weight, the first thing she would say, she would say, wow, you've put on a lot of weight. That would be the first thing she would tell me. Yeah, yeah. Um, or my grandfather, if um, I decided that I was going to try to grow out my facial hair and it wasn't looking too good, um, the first thing he would tell me is like, that doesn't look good professional, you need to shave that. There will be things that are happening to me or that I've done to myself that are negative. And my family would not be afraid to tell me that those things are happening. Yeah. And you know the, the childhood saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's that out, doesn't apply that's gone anymore. And, yeah, no one believes in that anymore. Words They, they think me. words are uh, attacks. Um, uh, mm. And that words hurt so much that, that you, you need to put laws in the books. Oh. You can physically defend yourself against verbal attacks, oh, um, yes. like the the rioting in um, at, when they were trying to get Milo out of the, mm. <laughs> out of the University in Columbia. Right? Was it Columbia University? There have been many riots um, where hate speech isn't so. Isn't hate speech then a outgrowth of social justice? I think so, because, I don't know, basically they say hate speech will lead to violence, and therefore it needs to be stopped. Thanks for watching this react to video. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button, punch it, kick it, um, or hit the like button. What? Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye! Bye.